Hi, you're listening to Antonia on the Saturday Breakfast Show, and I have Molly back in the studio. I love these sections um, on Saturday mornings. We can talk about so much things. Last time we had, was it Valentine's Day? When yes. you in, Molly? That yes. was because that was good. It was Ox Molly. <laughs> right, we, we need to carry that on. We have to carry that and on. Don't walk in. And oh yes, that was funny. I went back home and thought that was funny, and was telling my friends about that. Really good trick though. Well, I haven't got a dog, but I went online, looked at the website, and I do know that you can borrow a dog. Yes. So as you as you're saying, just to refresh, um, and Molly has tried a trick where she trained the dog to bark at good-looking guys, and then <laughs> on cycle, on, on, on cycle, bikes, on yeah. bikes. So what would you say to the dogs? Well, no. So when um, so Rory is a puppy. Well, he still is a puppy, really. He's only 17 months, but he affect, he always chases the, the, the cyclist. So what I do is I I'll have a quick glimpse, and if I, you know, gosh, when when when, when, when no when not, not now. This is no, in the past is, tense. Yes, so when I used to, tense, <laughs> I used to do, I used to um, I used to say to him go like that and he'd chase them <laughs> if I told him to stay he would and then I'd be I'm so sorry my dog chases after all cyclists <laughs> did, did, any, did anything work out anything come of this at any point no oh okay. <laughs> well okay well we get chatting yes I did get chatting but no I just I I, I used to, I'm quite shy so I suppose they're on a mission right I've got to do you know get off yeah. my exercise as what's this dog doing chasing me <laughs> <laughs> keep your dog under control <laughs> right so molly's here we're talking about face masks today and yes. hair masks which i'm really intrigued but i'll just let you just run away with what you have to say first talking about things for our skin this is for men and also for women as well yes, yes definitely um so a lot of people um say a face mask um and do you have to use them and there's so many on the market it can be really difficult which one to go for first of all yes face masks are great for a number of reasons um, they're easy to fit into any regime that you have beauty regime you can put them on you can you can you have nighttime masks so you can put them on before you go to bed they won't come off on your sheets just very thin layer um, specifically because your skin rests overnight so um, that's and you could, as your body's resting so you have cell turnover so it's a good time to use it because um, the so anyway, going back to what I was saying, so night time, so very good, um, you can use them overnight, um, just wash off in the morning, although most of the time your skin would have absorbed a lot of the product. Um, the next thing, before you go out in the evening, mm -hmm. um, you have all different types of masks that can give you sort of hydration so your skin can look dewy, but most um, specifically, if you suffer from oily skin and you're going out and you, you find that your makeup slides and so on, if you pop on a face mask for oily skin, um, um, uh, 10 minutes before you do your makeup and then you know just wipe it away it can leave your skin matte and, and so on okay. so it's really great for the evening mm -hmm. the other thing with face masks is every part of your skin is um, different so a lot of companies have what they call skin mapping because some areas are oily some are dry <coughs> some are sensitive and face masks come um, with so many different ingredients work a specific type of area you know on your face and a specific skin condition um, or skin type so never just stick to one I mean your skin will change your skin will change with the weather it will change with hormones like me <laughs> absolutely like me um, so what you can do is you can apply say if you have the oily t-zone which is like your nose and your chin mm. and your forehead you can put um, a face mask specifically for oily skin on that part oh, if good. you're suffering from dehydration um, which I do um, you can put on a bit more hydrating face mask on your cheeks and on your neck, um, like your decollete. Um, so you can really sort of tailor make it and you can use them all at the same time. What is time. a decollete? Oh, sorry, it's, it's a bony <laughs> bit here. <laughs> oh, we've learned a new word today. <laughs> decollete. <laughs> yeah, so, um, so there's lots of good uses for face masks and I always say, I mean, as long as you apply them now there's different ways as well to apply them a lot of people literally will put them onto their fingertips and just put them onto their face i always say use a brush simply because even if we wash your hands beforehand 
when if you've got a, um, a pot one like this or even if you've got a pump one you've still got bacteria on your oh, fingers that's a really good point to make actually yeah. because i find that um, i'm always washing my hands but um, even if you're using cleanser and a um, cotton wool pad sometimes you can spread the bacteria can't yes. you as well as your hands so yeah i've never heard of that before. this is one of the reasons as well why when you um have it do a facial date um that you always start with a double cleanse so yeah you must always have a double and that has been going for years and years and years. I mean, they're promoting it more now in magazines. This, the in thing for 2017 is to make sure you double cleanse. Well, it's been going for years and yes, years and years. I double cleanse. Yeah, good. <laughs> you see? <laughs> You've got two different skin. So, um, so basically, because the first cleanser will just take off the surface um, makeup and so on, but then you want to really um, increase blood flow and so on to your skin. Mm. So um, when you cleanse for the second time it's more of a massage and so on you'll find this if you go for facials um, and then I always with with my regime I always get a flannel or a, um, a cloth and put it under not boiling hot water just sort of warm water and just press it over my face just to slightly open my pores up and then I will apply my mask so the ingredients can penetrate further. So the second thing about using um, like a cloth I find again that can also capture bacteria so what do you wash it in? Do you wash it in your normal detergent again? What's the best way to do that? To I, I do a boil wash um, with my sheets so I will put them all in and do a boil wash, but I do wash with my detergent, but again, really, you should just use a boil wash, as long as it's boiled wash. Yes, okay. um, so it's, I normally do a 60 degrees, sometimes I do a 90 degrees, um, okay. but I do that for all my towels and everything. Um, so the other thing as well that you have to look at with, and again, this is going back to all products, is how the product is packaged. Now, most products will come in something that's opaque or in a dark bottle that's because of oxidization so you know if you sort of open a product up and it gets sunlight in it and oxygen it can just make it like an apple it can go brown and so okay. on so you need to retain um the ingredients and what they're doing and this is why i always make sure that you go really for something that's in an opaque bottle um or a pump dispenser the other thing as well and a lot of people, they put their products onto their palms of their hands, especially with things, I mean, I've actually got serum here, but especially with serums, they put them onto the palm of their hands and then they put them on. If you were to apply a moisturiser and so on, um, when, you, when you apply moisturiser, I always put it onto the back of my hand mm -hmm. and then put it into my skin with the back of my hands like this, because the first sign of aging is your hands, so then you're getting the extra bit oh, um, okay. onto, your, onto the back of your hands, so that's really good for lines and so on. Mm -hmm. You don't sort of get the age spots. Yes. There's no point putting it onto your palms of your hands <laughs> and then putting it on. So, so, then, so you're saying, so does that also counteract the um, bacteria as well, so it makes it a bit best to put it on the back of your hands? No, or it's, more, no, uh, it's more for moisturising, um, yeah. because then you get any excess product and just soak into the back of your yeah. hands. Mm -hmm. I mean, to be honest, you're going to get bacteria. Like a two for one, two for one. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And you're going to get bacteria regardless anyway. But I always think it's it's nice to apply a face mask mm. with a brush. It means you can get deeper into mm. the lines. You can yeah. get deeper into the I can never say the word crevices. You know, it's all around crevices. Yes. Crevices. <laughs> crevices. <laughs> well, look it up. <laughs> well, round the nose and mouth area. Round the nose and mouth and into the creases and That's so it. on. It just it's just a more precise application um, than you know just sort of slapping it on with, the, with your hands. Um, so the things that you've got to look at now I've brought in lots of different types of masks here and the first one that I will go to is Murad. Now Dr Murad is um, and I'm reading some of this off the press release um, because I haven't had my coffee. <laughs> Steve saying uh, nice work ladies. He is a certified dermatologist, he's a clinical professor of uh, medicine at the Giffen School of Medicine, mm -hmm. UCLA. He has treated over 50,000 patients and his whole 
line, so to speak, is he was the first person to introduce AHAs into topical skincare. Mm -hmm. AHAs being alpha hydroxy acid, which is basically um, an exfoliant. Mm -hmm which everyone knows exfoliants are great and he's packaged them into all his products have got AHAs in them. It's a very, very clinical it, brand. Definitely, um, oh, no. oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> Ten minutes. It definitely Ten minutes. gets results. <laughs> it's very, very good. Now, this one is the Instamat Oil Control Mask and it's got in it beta hydroxy acid, aka salicylic acid. Now, people say, when I've got acne, when I've got open pores, what kind of acid should I use? Mm -hmm. Always go for salicylic acid. If you've got any type of oily skin, salicylic acid is more, um, it's able to get deeper into the pores, into the skin surface, okay. and it's oil soluble. So it breaks down any oil. It's excellent for blackheads, whiteheads. Um, it's not as good for cystic spots, but it still works on cystic okay. spots more than anything else. Does it have any minerals in that particular um, This one has got in it zinc. Okay. Um, so zinc is very good for hydrating and preventing dryness. It's got in it olive ex extract, which is good for I've olives. heard that olive is very good olive as Olive well. is very, very good. So this is the Instamat Oil Control Mask. It's £35 and I tried it this morning and it really Ooh. is brilliant. I tried, I've, I've been trying different face masks all week. Yeah, yes, <laughs> yeah. This is a great one to put on, yeah. as I said, before you go out in the evening because um, if you put it on, you can use it as a cleanser, but mm -hmm. if you just put it on for a few yep. minutes before you go out, wipe it off and it will keep your skin shiny. And how, how long do you think some a product of this um, will last? This it product, all like, depends. Okay. I'd say about a month, but it all depends on how often you use it because okay. you can use it as a cleanser as well. Oh, okay. So, next, going on to, <laughs> I'm trying to work out, two minutes, two minutes. DHC, now DHC is a Japanese brand, um, huge in Japan, absolutely huge, and their whole um, ethos is based around. And this is the mineral mask, it's got in it, um, I can never say this, chlorella, aka. Algae. So that's really good. Um, if algae has got it, vitamins B1, A, it's got it, magnesium. So it's very, very good for um, antioxidants. It's very nourishing. It's also got aloe in it, which is mm. very soothing and good for redness. Yes. And then it's also got it, um, mulberry. Mulberry is very good for uneven skin tones. Um, this one, I mean, it smells amazing. It's £31.90, but it's full of minerals. It's also good, mm. so whilst it's good for oily skin, it's also good for sensitive skin as well. Yep. Okay. Yep. <laughs> and DHC is a really, oh, really fun. good brand. It actually stands for, and I'm going to, don't know how I'm going to say this, mm. the Daeku Honyaku Centre. So, well um, done, Molly. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> So that's the DHC. Yeah. Now, next, going on, this is a great one. This is a Janjira Marine Radiant White Instant Bubbling Mask. It's £24. Now, it's got in it ascorbic acid, which is vitamin C. Vitamin C is one of the biggest things used in skincare, topical skincare. It brightens, it restores, it soothes. Um, however, when it's put in light, it does lose its capability to work. So that's, again, always choose a bottle. If it's got vitamin C in it, it should come in like an opaque um, bottle. Okay. So it's not, you know, it, it's like when you put vitamin C onto it, say, yes. an apple, it browns this so is more like This is more like a mousse product, so it's good as you're saying. Oh, this is a fantastic product, yeah. okay? So you put it on your skin and it starts bubbling all over your oh, skin. It's very tingly. Uh, yeah, it's brilliant. It bubbles all over your skin. It produces like a sort of froth effect. Yeah. And then when I when I took it off, my skin looked so bright. I absolutely love this. It's called the Janjira Instant Brightening Bubble Mask. It's also got in it uh, vitamin B3, which hydrates, and it's got in it um, uh, it's got in it nicotinic acid, which basically helps um, fine lines. Um, it helps with dullness. Um, it reduces shine and so on. The actual word I think or the ingredients is something like nic nicotine side. I can't say it. again. I can't say it. But I prefer to use the words that you know the jargon that probably readers will more understand more because it is really difficult. Finally, I'm um, sorry, not funny. Um, next, going on to the frankincense and rose clay mask. This is by AA Skincare, and it's called Amphora Aromatics Limited. That's the name of the company. Okay. This smells absolutely amazing. Now, this is what I would call a more pampering mask. So it's not. Um, it still really soothes and hydrates. It's very, very good for. Um, it's very, very good 
um, for um, dry skin, older skin. It's a real it pampering. It smells beautiful. It's got it. Frankincense, you can smell the rose in there. It's mixed with dead sea salts. It's got geranium, which is so good for balancing geranium. It's really good for hormonal um, imbalances. Um, so with the clay and the deep, with the, with the clay masks, clay masks tend to be more um, purifying and withdrawing and then the cream masks are often more hydrating. So if you see anything with kale in it, with um, okay, it's going to be more, um, it'll draw out all those sort of blackheads and so on. Um, and you feel like your skin afterwards is more sort of tingly. I can, I can kind of sense the smell of that and um, it's oh, quite it's thick. lovely. It's like a, a film over your face. Yes. And then yes. it looks like... And clay masks much. don't have to be drying or anything like that. So. You know, it, and I always think that, um, I mean, I, I actually prefer, um, I, I would put sort of more of a mask that's dry in, as I say, on my T-zone because... Well, I do have a, um, I had a little a fear of face masks. When I was younger, my mum would put on those clay masks and I'd yeah. run, she would scare me and I'd run <laughs> away. <laughs> I'll never wear one of those. I, I'm still, um, I'm still scarred by it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, my kids have got used to that, actually. They're used to, I don't scare me anyway, so... <laughs> I was doing the woods the other day with my son. Oh, I said, what's wrong? I was in the woods the other day with my son and my daughter. I've only got a minute and I've got some products. But we were doing this thing where we were hiding behind trees and we wanted to not jump out at people, but I've got an eight year old son and a 13 year old daughter. And I like to have fun with them because it mm. makes me, it keeps me young. <laughs> and um, we were doing this thing where we were hiding by, behind trees filming and doing like jumping out, going, pretending to be monsters. And it's really oh, not coming across right away. <laughs> I will show you the face thing. Okay. It was so funny, but actually, we videoed it, so I'll show you later. But well, you had no face mask on, though. No, I didn't okay. have a face mask on. We didn't do it to any elderly people. Actually, we didn't do it to any people. We just did it to ourselves. And just, you know, that's how I made okay. it. Okay. <laughs> oh, dear me. Anyway, going back to the. Um, right, so this is a Vichy one. This is quite a new line for Vichy. This is a double bow peeling mask. It's £14. Now this has got in it um, thermal water. Um, thermal water contains selenium, so it's a good antioxidant. Um, it can stop cell damage and it's good for oxidization. This has also got the um, AHA alpha hydroxy acids, so it's a natural exfoliant where it removes dead skin cells. Um, mm -hmm. It's got in it vitamin C, again, which is brightening. Um, this is a different one. This is you got, it's kind of quite little exfoliating I tested this yes. annoyingly I'd written up all these for my blog and um, my internet crashed and my blog site crashed and oh, yeah. I'd done two weeks of work and lost the whole lot oh, so um, and I tested nice. the photos up and everything but this one what you do is you put it on it's got a slight exfoliating effect you leave it for a couple of minutes okay. and then you um you peel away like this and it, it oh comes off it's one of those so it does <laughs> make a mess just quickly i saw Do this it over the sink. i saw this on instagram a young girl put some a face mask on like that but she could have put it off her face and i don't know what product this was um, so i'm <laughs> you always must make sure it dries because otherwise it's not going to flake off so easily right, but really do awesome. it over i think it's definitely well, one that's very similar like a peeling mask it's good um it was very good. The only reason why it's not my favourite is because of the mess it makes, but it did yes. still look good. Now, this is the hair mask, and I know you're interested in this. But basically, the hair mask has got in it, um, again, you know, you say face mask, well, mask can be used for your hair, you get hair masks, foot masks now. The hair mask, this has got in it um, Payanoia extract, mm -hmm. which is an antioxidant. It's got in it soy proteins. Soy proteins are very good for holding moisture. It binds the moisture together. Mm -hmm. um, and it's got in it wheat protein, which wheat is very good for thickening and volume. And it's also got in it um, panthenol, which is the alcohol form of vitamin B. So again, it holds moisture. Now, literally, for fine hair, fine long hair, you need about 5p. Okay, 5p <laughs> size. Um, I haven't tested this one yet, but it's, I've looked at all the ingredients and there you go. You literally, this would last you uh, probably about three months at least. Really? Um, you need a five oh, piece size, if that, for long hair. Um, for thicker hair, you can leave it on for five to ten minutes. What I do like about this is because I wash my hair in the shower, is literally I wash my hair, 
for my hair, for fine hair, you only leave it on for two to three minutes. Right. So, and, it, and it's got lots of good ingredients. That looks really, really, um, I've never heard of it. It's got in it, this is like, a, you know body butters, this has got in it. It smells like coconuts in there. Yeah, it's lovely. If you've got, butter. if you've got, yes, well this has got in it, um, different butters and things. Mm. Finally, 30 seconds, well, <laughs> I'm not really going to do this in 30 seconds, but I've got IS Clinical. This is a, this has brand has been going for a while now. This is a serum, and I wanted to bring a serum in because, the, again, I've like, Face masks, they're very potent. Um, this is a really good one. It's good for skin hydration. Um, the only thing with this one, it's called the Hydrocool Serum, is it has got mm. quite a high alcohol content. Okay. And I think you have to be careful with that. But I'll come back and bring yes. this on another time because Perfect. I've got serums. All right, we'll be back after <laughs> this.